Tips for Healthy Living with Dr. Ketch is brought to you by Safeguard, champion of family health, supported by Africa Medical Association. Okay, come inside. Come and sit with mommy. Sit down. See, this period that you started, you don't have to be shy about it. You're becoming a woman. And always come, to, come and talk to mommy about anything, okay? And carry this with you at all times. Make sure you change it often. Make sure you're clean. And there's an article in here you should read about it, okay? Don't mind whatever they're saying in school. Just come and speak to me, okay? Don't be shy, it will be fun. All women go through it, I went through it. You don't want to know how money started. Just make sure you come and talk to me. You're becoming a woman, all right? You're a big girl now, eh? Look at my baby. You'll okay. be fine, eh, my darling? Don't worry about it. The adolescent period can be a very confusing one as young girls come to terms with the myriad of changes going on in their bodies. Depending on their relationship with their parents, they're either asking them a lot of questions or clamming up because they probably have received other information from all the quarters. Very scary. So parents, let's be open and encourage our adolescents to ask us questions. Here are five questions you should be very ready to answer for your teenage daughter about menstruation. How come only girls have periods? Well, simply because a boy does not have a uterus, which is where the bleeding comes from. Explain that during puberty, changes occur in boys and girls in different ways. Give examples of changes that occur in boys, like broadening of their chest, deepening of their voices. For a girl, puberty is that time when lots of changes happen in the uterus, like menses, which signifies that the girl in question can actually get pregnant and have a baby. How long will I bleed during my period? And how much blood do I lose during each period? There's really no definite answer, as this is different for each girl. Usually, it would range from three days to seven days. Yes, a full week. In the exact same way, the flow is also different for each girl and could even vary in the same girl from one menstrual period to another. It could be light, it could be moderate, or it could be heavy. Do girls have their periods for the rest of their lives? Good news. The answer is a resounding no. Around the age of 45 to 51, a woman stops having her period. Will I always have cramps with my period? Well, cramps usually occur as the uterus tries to get rid of the blood inside it. This issue appears sometimes to be more of an issue for some girls than the actual menstruation itself. They worry about whether they have to spend all their periods wallowing in misery. Well, for most girls, the first few years of starting their periods, they usually do not have cramps. And when they eventually start showing up, they usually last for just a few days. Some time-tested remedies include hot baths, hot water bottles, and pain relief using over-the-counter drugs. These can be very helpful. If the latter have to be taken, the over-the-counter drugs, this should be started as soon as the cramp starts or even as soon as the period starts. Remember never to exceed the recommended doses. I worry that when I have my period, I'll miss out on all the fun things happening around me. Well, here's good news for you. Not necessarily. The focus is on using the right sanitary towels. And with those ones, you can have as much fun as if you didn't even have a period and also stay dry. With always sanitary towels, you can stay dry for a long time and enjoy all the activities that you usually love to engage in. Remember that periods are not death sentences. They represent a rite of passage and should actually be celebrated. Yes, you heard me. 
other remedies you could try for those cramps if you do have them are lower back massages, avoiding foods high in caffeine and salt, and lots of rest. Until I come your way again with another brilliant health tip, remember to keep clean, keep healthy with good hygiene. Here's to a healthier you. Dr. Ketch is a registered public health doctor. So for any questions or suggestions you may have, please join the conversation on www.chatwithdrketch.com or you can visit our Facebook page or follow her on Twitter. Mama's cooking! Let's help her! Wait! My mama says before touching food, you should wash your hands with soap. But my hands are clean! Can't see germs, but they're everywhere! Look under special blue light. To protect against germs, I recommend regularly use soap. Safeguard removes millions of germs and additionally it inhibits regrowth of germs that might cause skin rashes for hours. That is why me, mommy, daddy and my brother regularly use Safeguard. Supported by the African Medical Association.